Hi there, this is Solitary Ronin from Solitary Ronin Films and welcome to part 11 of my Cloud Chabrol series and this is 1973's Les Noches Rouge which is part of the Arrow Academy Volume 1 DVD series this is from 1973 another one of Chabrol's triangular films as far as the relationship of characters. Um, if you followed a Chabra series you're in for a shock because there's no character called Charles in the film. But don't worry, there's a character called Helene even though it's not actually the lead it's not Audran's character. I don't know what Chabrol was thinking because every film has pretty much been Helene and Charles. But there's no appearance by Charles. Obviously, he must have had the day off. Um, so Michelle Piccoli stars as Pierre, who has a sick wife that he looks after. And Stéphane Audran plays Lucienne who is married to the mayor of this small kind of country French town and they are having an affair they drive off into the country to meet each other the first example of this is a really nicely done we follow we're in the car with Michelle Piccoli as he goes out into the country to meet um, Lucien and their affair is physical and full of lust which they're not getting at home and then after the first meeting we then follow Lucien in her car back to her life so we're kind of introduced very quickly to the two characters home lives. Lucienne is married to Paul who is the mayor who is pompous he is working on a deal which um, there's a chateau that features in the film and the land behind the chateau he wants to pretty much sell off and sell to a plastics factory and he'll take some of the profits so he's a bit of a blowhard and he's also a bit corrupt and they also live in their house with Helene who is Lucienne's daughter from a previous relationship and she forms a really important character in the film she has a kind of black sense of humour she kind of reminds me of Winona Ryder's character in Heathers a little bit. She has a kind of black vein of humour. So the first 40 minutes, as usual with Chabrol, this film is a slow burn. So the first 40 minutes we kind of get introduced to these characters' lives, the kind of workings of the small town, and then 40 minutes in, um, Michelle Piccoli's wife dies. So his house is now free for Audran to come in the middle of the night um, and spend more time with them. They don't have to meet in parks um, and by the riverside or in the chateau. Um, 
So at this point, Helene first brings up to her mother the possibility that she's Pierre's mistress, which she denies. And then as the film progresses, the mayor goes more and more into the deal that's going to get him a lot of money. And Lucien just becomes more and more unhappy living with him. So I'm just going to go minor spoiler, but it's a fairly predictable spoiler. I'm going to leave the last 10-15 minutes of the film untouched. Um, But Pierre and Lucien essentially plot to kill Paul, which they do, they fake a car accident, so they're free, and obviously they decide not to see each other for a while just to let things cool off, because obviously it's a small town, and rumours about um, Pickley's wife already started about the whole town thinking it was suicide. And of course he later confesses to Lucien that he just gave her an overdose of her medication. So he actually kills both spouses in the film. But again, this isn't really a surprise. You can pretty much figure out what's going to happen. Um, And then the daughter gets more suspicious and kind of wants her mother to be happy but she also wants her mother to be innocent of killing her stepfather. So the police have written it off as a road traffic accident um, but the, the daughter, thinking it's the right thing to do, sends a letter to the police asking them to clear her mother's name <coughs> because there's rumours that they both killed him so they could be together. So I'm going to not talk about how the film resolves itself. Just to say again, it's another slow burn by Shabral. But again, in his non-showy way with camera moves, he really deals with the final scenes really well. The way just subtle movements of the camera into characters' faces. Again, if you've watched Shabral films or you've watched these videos, you will get the sense that, like all kind of proper artists, there's no moral judgments by Shabral. He just lets the story play out. He doesn't judge characters. It just leaves it up to the audience. There is... It's a very romantic film. It almost has a kind of air of... Tragic romanticism. Of these two characters that... Desperately want to be together. But circumstances... Have... Availed themselves that they can't be. Um... Again, it's just another really nice Shabral film. Um, It's not one of my favourites. It's maybe not a film that I would revisit very often, unlike, for example, Le Boucher or um, This Man Must Die, which are really, really excellent films. But again, it's it's the Shabral pattern. It's kind of a slow build-up. You get to know the characters. Because the thing is, you do root for these characters. You do want Pierre and Lucien to be together. I mean, again, he doesn't make the sick wife or the slightly corrupt mayor into caricatures or anything. They're still well-rounded characters. They're still human beings. Um... But you just really want... Maybe it's just because of Dran. 
as in all Shabro films, she's just really good. And um, Pickley's really good as well. It's just well acted. A slow burn. And it's just a really enjoyable film. But one that I wouldn't necessarily recommend as the first Shabro film that you watch. So thank you very much for watching this short little video. Again, I'm not going to tell you how it ends. I think you should go away, watch the film, and then come back and tell me what you think. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you back for part 12 of Claude Chabrol as we dip into some of the films throughout his 50 years of making films and hopefully we'll see you again. This is Solid Your Own saying farewell. <laughs>